Folks, I wish I could stand before you and tell you that we'll never have to place another name on this wall, on these towers, but, but we realize it's simply not a reality. As long as there are bad actors in this world, there will be those who make it their mission to neutral, neutralize them and protect country and community. And in carrying out that mission can always carry the potential of the ultimate sacrifice. Since I stood before you a year ago, we've added more heroes to this memorial. Brave men who answered that call when it came. I want to acknowledge the family members and friends of these heroes and let you know that although you may feel alone, you're not. There are well over 60 other families who know exactly what you're going through. The pain, the questions, the what ifs. As we prepare to honor them amongst these other brave souls on these towers, I want to invite up the men who knew them, who stood next to them, and who led them. Please welcome Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook in honor of Master Police Officer Robert John Hall. Good morning. Chief Palmer, thank you for those uh, powerful remarks. Um, Lieutenant Governor, thank you. As always, we always know where you and Governor McMaster stand as four of our military first responders. It's an honor for me to represent the city of Columbia this morning in our police department and, of course, the Robert Hall family. Thank you to the Remembrance Foundation for continuing to organize and and host a day of remembrance for our fallen service members and our first responders. 14 years um, honoring our fallen heroes in this location is just amazing to me. As I stand here today, in many ways, it's hard to believe that Master Police Officer Robert Hall left us four years ago. And to remind you of four years ago here in Columbia, it was just up this street that we were fending off two days of riots and another 60 days of protests. Robert Hall stood shoulder to shoulder with these men and women that are here today and our partner agencies um, as we responded to those critical days and um, weeks and months to follow. At some point during that response, he became ill. But prior to becoming ill, Bob was very well known in the city of Columbia's business and entertainment districts, having played an integral, integral um, part and role in event planning and security. Bob was revered by all those. 9.38 a.m., September 11th, 2001. American Airlines Flight 77, flying from Dulles to Los Angeles, strikes the west side of the Pentagon. Bob was revered by all of those in the special events planning arena. To this day, his name is often mentioned in conjunction with the specific event planning. It goes on throughout the city every week. At 57 years old, Bob died from complications due to COVID on July 5th, 2020. He had a larger than life personality and he was always willing to extend a helping hand to anyone. He had a heart for service, was compassionate, professional, and worked with integrity, attributes that are expected of 21st century police officers. He served with distinction and honor for more than three decades, having left a lasting legacy at the Columbia Police Department. Originally from Casey, Robert joined the Columbia Police Department in June of 1985, and during his lengthy tenure, he was a patrolman, having served in the north, south, and west regions of the city, and was a member of our SWAT team. He retired at the rank of corporal in September of 2008, only to return back to the Columbia Police Department two months later having much more to give to this city, this police department, and our profession. On a personal side, Bob was an avid firearms collector and instructor. He was also a ham radio enthusiast and enjoyed riding motorcycles. Robert 
is survived by his wife, Lori, of 37 years, two adult children, grandchildren, and a large extended family. Today is a day to honor Bob's memory and legacy. Bob left us too soon, but he certainly will not be forgotten. God bless our city, our state, and the United States of America. Thank you. We all remember 23 years ago, most of us remember 23 years ago of 9-11 um, and the acts that was that happened on that day. Um, I think it's important that we have a more memorials like this to help us remember those who have sacrificed their lives and gave it up for the community, for strangers. Um, Today, we actually witnessed people that spoke, talked about their family members right here locally at home. So 9-11 has happened all around, across the world. We all are mourning. We all remember those times. But today was equally important for us, for the Midlands, for South Carolina, to remember those who have died right here in our state and to honor and show gratitude to the families that came out to speak on their loved one's behalf.